Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Raids and today I'm going to be talking about the rest of my TBR for October. So yes, I have a jammed packed full October. I did to myself, but <laughs> there's so many things I want to participate in that uh, I thought maybe I could give at least a little nod to some readathons that I know about. There's so many readathons in October, um, but I do have a few here that I wanted to participate in by e even if I just read like one book, maybe two books or something like that for them and everything. And so I wanted to go ahead and let you know what I will be doing for those and everything. A couple of these I don't really have books for. I'm just going to see what I can do with the readathon that they have. And then the other ones I do have a couple of books for. And so this shouldn't be too long. It should be a pretty short video for me. <laughs> and so uh, there is the TBR Harvest that is hosted by Leandra and a whole bunch of her friends and it's at Leandra from at the TBR Zero and so she has like several different little games or whatever that you can play there's like a like a board game and and a haunted house escape the haunted house or whatever but I chose the trick-or-treat TBR game because I figured that they weren't really necessarily like big prompts like some of the other ones might have and that I would just see how many trick-or-treat items that I could pick up during the month. Uh, I Hopefully I will have a picture here. I can show you like the list, the TBR, the trick-or-treat TBR list and everything and then there's like a another page that she has that you could like print out and you could cut them out if you want or whatever but you're collecting little items to goes with each one of those and I thought I could read my books and then I can see what items I pick up during the month. So that's kind of going to be my little nod to uh, TBR Harvest. We'll do it that way. And there's also this day spookyathon that's hosted by um, Dana Ella and Nikki Books Bookish Coven. Nikki's Bookish Coven. There we go. And they have a bingo board, and I participated last year, and so I thought I'd do it again this year because they have like this like fun little bingo board and everything. And so what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to see what books will fit in, and hopefully I will get a bingo. I'm not going to go for like trying to black it out or anything. Mostly it's for like horror and thrillers, but I'm going to see what middle grade books that I can fit into the little prompts that are on the board and just see if I can make it my own with my middle grade books. And so I'm going to do that. And then it's Victober. And I know Victober is hosted by several ladies. I don't know each one of them, but I know that Kate Howe is one of them. And so I will be list I will be linking to at least one host from each of these. <laughs> I'm not going to list like all of them, but and everything. So I'm going to read uh, War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Um, it's a sci-fi, and I don't do well with sci-fi, but I have a plan. I want to read that so that I can listen to the program so that I can read this book, which is The Panic Broadcast. I hauled it not too long ago, but this is the whole story of the Orson Welles legendary radio show, Invasions from Mars. But I want to read the source material. I want to listen to the story on how Orson Welles done things. And then I can read this like nonfiction. And uh, nonfiction is like nonfiction November. So I figured if I can get prepared, I can maybe try to read this one in November for that. I don't know. It may take me longer than that. I don't read nonfiction very well, but I think this one will be interesting because... It does have a lot of, like, interesting things along with it and some, like, photos. And, of course, it's not going to show... Oh, there went some photos. But, anyway, it'll eventually lead me to this. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And also, uh, my nod to Historathon Quarter 4. I don't really participate in the Historathon. It's all year long. I I like to read certain histories, but I don't really care for... 
like the old timey history, like you know, 500 BC type things. But now they're into like the more of the history kind of things that I like, and it fits with uh, Victober, although it's not Victorian in uh, when it was created, but it is about Victorian. So it's the invention of murder and how the Victorians reveled in death and detection and created modern crime by Judith Flander. And so uh, that's my other little nod to Victober, even though it's not an actual Victober book in the sense that the author wasn't Victorian. But anyway, I figured it worked. <laughs> and then there is um, Occult Detective October, and that's hosted by MJ from Reading This Life and a slew of other ones. And so my friend and I are, and another friend has been reading um, the Jim Butcher series, The Dresden Files. That is it. I don't know why I can't think of it. Anyway, we are on Death Mask by Jim Butcher, and it's the fifth book in the Dresden Files series, and he is an occult detective, so we got that. And I've been watching X-Files on TV, on Hulu, and I always think of September, October, and all that as, as good X-File watching. One of these days I'll finish the, all of the X-Files. I usually get so far and then I kind of fall off. But it's got me curious about reading some of the books, and so I do think I'm going to try it because I have an audio of Goblin by Charles Grant, I believe it is. And uh, it didn't have very good rating on Goodreads, but it's from the 90s, and so we'll just give it a try and see, and it's on audio. And maybe if I can find some Victorian-era occult detectives that I can um, read, I may try doing some Victorian-era occult and kind of combine the two with Victober. And then that leaves one other buddy read that I do have with my friend. Because we're going to buddy read a middle grade because we decided to do that. One of the books I have for Halloween. So this is our other one, which is going to be The Unholy by Heather Graham, which is the sixth book in the Crew of Hunters series. And uh, I think it sort of fits in with Occult, October, uh, Occult Detective October. I mean... Usually they do find that whoever's doing things, they're human, but they do talk to ghosts. And so I would think that's kind of like an occult detective. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they're trying to eliminate the possibility of ghosts, and sometimes the ghosts help them solve the crimes. So I may be stretching it a little bit, but I thought, well, it kind of fits in with Occult Detective October, and I wanted to read another Crew of Hunters book, and so... Um, I got her to, to do that, and it, it just fits October to me. It had the October vibes, so that's everything. That's the rest of the books. It's not a whole lot. Uh, I do want to try to fit in, you know, like I said, the, the bingo board and the trick-or-treat is just going to try to fit in with whatever books that I'm reading, and hopefully that I can, you know, fill out most of those. But I just wanted to basically kind of give a little bit of a, a shout out to these other readathons that I think are really cool. I just never have a lot of time to participate in them. <laughs> and so let me know what readathons are you participating in in October? Because there's a slew of them. So you'll probably be participating in ones that I have might not even heard of because I haven't seen the whole gigantic list, but I have heard there's a lot. <laughs> So let me know down below in the comments uh, what you're going to be participating in and what book are you really looking forward to reading in October. I'd like to know that as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.